Is that? Okay. So, uh, good afternoon, uh, uh, everybody. We are now at the um, at one of the last talk of this day. First of all, me and my colleagues want to uh, thank the organizer for giving us the possibility to have this slot. Uh, I am Giussi Mushanisi, and uh, with my colleagues, we work uh, at uh, Cineca, a non-profit consortium in Italy. And uh, um, during this talk, uh, I'll, uh, I'm going to present our cloud uh, high-performance computing infrastructure and uh, the way in which our user scientific community use it. At the end of the presentation, I also show you some nice use case that we hosted. So Cineca, as I said before, is the, an Italian non-profit uh, consortium. It's composed by many university ministers uh, and uh, research center. It's found, uh, founded in 1969 and uh, the headquarters is in Bologna. The mission of Cineca is to support uh, research and deliver IT services for all the associated. In particular, the supercomputing uh, um, application innovation department where we belong oversees all the HPC services. Uh, here you can find um, a list of the main pillars of Cineca. <clears throat> spanning from the support for research and innovation up to the technology transfer uh, by prototyping, problem solving, machine learning, and so on. Uh, just to give you some number uh, at the present time, in the last over three years, uh, we have uh, um, provided more than 10 billion of computing hours for our users. We have more than 3,000 active HPC users, uh, more than 4,000 uh, HPC projects that are running on our infrastructure, and uh, um, also <clears throat> many courses and training activity are a core business. So what about uh, the infrastructure? Uh, the, mm, we have the two main HPC system, a tier zero flagship system and a tier one system, where uh, the classical HPC simulation run. And together with this infrastructure, we have also additional servers that are used for data repository, uh, data services, uh, interactive computing, data processing, and also a cloud infrastructure. Uh, we have uh, a cloud infrastructure since 2015 uh, because many users express the need to have a more flexible environment respect uh, that is in a multi-user environment like a classical HPC cluster. So in 2015, we started by installing the first cloud um, infrastructure based on OpenStack. The, this experience was um, a success for us and also for the users. And so we replaced Pico with uh, Meucci um, infrastructure. Within Meucci, we increase the power, the capability power of the nodes. And also we start to have uh, a dedicated self storage. And uh, last year, we replaced Meucci with a new one, uh, Tire One system named Galileo 100, and uh, this system uh, um, belongs to the Phoenix infrastructure founded by the IC Human Brain Project. Galileo 100 is a very <coughs> complex and in particular very an hybrid system because it is done by uh, both a scalable uh, interactive part when user can run a classical HPC simulation and near hit there is also a dedicated part for cloud computing. Uh, all the nodes that belong to the cloud computing part are interconnected with a high bandwidth low latency network of 100 gigabit per second. And uh, the nodes uh, have more than 700 gigabytes of RAM DDR4. And also a dedicated chef storage is available for the cloud part uh, of the dimension of one petabyte 
uh, and uh, RAID 6. So effectively for the user, there are more than 700 storage that the user can use. Moreover, there is uh, um, additional uh, lustre file system storage of 20 petabyte that can be shared among uh, uh, the scalable node and also the cloud, uh, um, the cloud part. Uh, and this is also useful as I will show you in the uh, final part of the presentation for some use case. <clears throat> to be um, a little bit precise, uh, and the, the cloud installation is based on the OpenStack Wallaby, but we are upgrading it uh, soon. Uh, we have three physical nodes, cloud controller in high availability and 68 physical nodes um, that, uh, that, that has the role of compute. Uh, the installation was done using Colla Ansible and uh, <coughs> in particular regarding to the storage, uh, the storage is uh, completely full flash storage so as uh, uh, perfect to say so it, it is ideal to host high ops workload. In particular, all the hardware and software architectures are implemented fully redundant to avoid a single point of failure. And moreover, we don't have uh, any subscri oversubscription of the resources in order to address uh, all the high performance computing workload. <coughs> Excuse me. <coughs> the name of the cloud infrastructure is Ada Cloud in memory of the mathematician Ada Lovelace. The user can access the infrastructure both by the Horizon dashboard and by the command line. Their authentication is done by using uh, um, the Chinega identity provider based on Keyclock Open ID. And we are going to uh, add also the Phoenix identity provider since the infrastructure in the, is in the Phoenix uh, group of infrastructure. Uh, we provide, of course, uh, images for the user and also different flavor that are able to, um, that, that are built in a way that uh, also big, very big virtual machine can be hosted uh, by um, an amount of, uh, of uh, resources uh, that cover an entire hypervisor. We provide uh, all the core services of OpenStack, of course, plus Barbican, Manila, Manium, in order to address uh, particular use case. And I say before, uh, also we offer the possibility to share the Lustre file system between the compute node and also the virtual machine. We provide the infrastructure as a YAS, as an infrastructure as a service. Uh, the system is full in production and we um, are a support uh, user during all the work days. Uh, on the basis of the hardware and uh, the, the, the hardware of uh, Ada Cloud, uh, many nice use cases are uh, at the present time uh, hosted in the system, spanning from uh, use cases that need real time data project or workload that need to process sensitive data or uh, um, use cases that require a huge amount of data to be exposed on web and also in general uh, any framework and any, any workload that need uh, an flexibility as the key point. Point. Now I show you three use cases in particular. The first one is uh, related to the weather for forecast. Chinega has uh, uh, since a lot of time <coughs> a collaboration within Arpa Emilia Romagna, that is the agency, the Italian agencies that perform uh, weather forecasting for Italy. And uh, <clears throat> at the present time on Galileo, Galileo 100, uh, we run on the scalable compute part, we run uh, the Cosmo model, so the parallel simulation that uh, creates the output and the forecast map. Uh, then some uh, um, post elaboration and uh, uh, some post processing is done on the accelerated part of Galileo 
and uh, uh, all these data are collected uh, in the Lustre file system. Then these data are available for all the user uh, by <coughs> a web portal that is meteohub.mrportal.it. In general, all people can uh, access this portal and uh, see um, the prevision, so the result of all this model. If you uh, register on the portal, you are also able to download uh, some data um, used for the simulation. Thank you for joining the of the Open Universe Summit. The two doors will be closing in 10 minutes. Please proceed to the designated exits. <laughs> May I continue? <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay, so uh, in this um, in this screenshot uh, it is uh, uh, represented the temperature, and this is the background, uh, the value of the temperature uh, computed by the, the Cosmo model, while uh, along the Italian peninsula you can see uh, the value of the humidity and uh, the value um, uh, showing, uh, showed are <coughs> a combination among the data produced by the simulation and the data that are observed by the weather station. Another nice use case that we, host, that we hosted is uh, related to the sensitive data uh, environment. We collaborate with the uh, uh, NIG group. NIG is the network of different Italian hospitals for Italian genomics. The idea is to create a centralized uh, repository for uh, human genomic variant data produced by various centers in Italy, and Cineca has the role to create the infrastructure for hosting this data and uh, analyze this data. Of course, uh, the platform that we have uh, uh, built for this uh, project, for this group, for this research group, is uh, GDPR compliant by the nature of the data that is stored. Uh, <coughs> to give you an overview the, of the platform, uh, we have uh, a virtual machine that has a role of uh, uh, front-end where the users upload uh, the data by a web portal. When the data is uploaded on an encrypted encrypted file system, it is uh, uh, computed and analyzed by some pipeline that run on a second virtual machine. And after that, some uh, um, data have been analyzed in a, in a third uh, virtual machine start uh, uh, another computation that perform an aggregation of this data. So at the end, uh, the aggregated data is then uh, provided to the user al always uh, by, this, uh, um, by a web interface. This is, uh, uh, we have, here is li are listed uh, all the security measures that we have adopted, and also this platform is scalable in the sense that on the basis of the amount of data that must be computed, the workers can be increased on demand. Final, another use case, uh, always uh, related to sensitive data. This use case uh, started uh, Two years, two years ago, or oh, as a response to SARS-CoV-2 pandemic, and also in this case, we collect uh, um, a large number of data sets, and the idea is to collect, uh, harmonize, and standardize uh, this data. Also in this case, obviously, uh, a main challenge is to create a secure infrastructure and a secure platform to analyze this data. Um, having a look through the uh, services provided, uh, we have uh, um, a virtual machine in which the data is stored and uh, a second virtual machine uh, where some federated learning analysis are performed. All the data transfer among these two machines, RedCap and uh, um, FL server, are inside the cloud infrastructure. And uh, uh, regarding to the final user, he logs in, uh, in, 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 in a web interface or in a web portal. 
log in that and uh, ask to perform some computation by using uh, uh, a token. Um, so in this way, the user can perform, the final user can perform computation but without access to individual data values. Okay, so that's all. <laughs> the time is finished in the sense that uh, I'll show you, great. <laughs> Yeah, so that's my our infrastructure and some use case that are hosted. <laughs>